I wish everyone on this auspicious occasion of Dasera. Today, all over the world, there are millions and millions of people celebrating this day. But like most spiritual occasions, not so many know why. It has, it is a characteristic of Kali Yuga that even very sacred things are perceived very superficially. Oftentimes religious festivals of all religions are more of an opportunity for some sort of social entertainment than for genuinely cultivating love of God, which is the purpose of every great religion and the purpose of every spiritual observance. The Srimad Bhagavatam tells, Strama Eva Kevalam, whatever occupation we perform, whatever spiritual activities we do, if in the end it does not awaken within us a deep attraction to hear about, to chant about, to serve and to love God, then we've missed the point. We have wasted our time. Today, Lord Sri Ramchandra is being remembered for his killing of Ravana. If somebody has a very, very serious life-threatening disease and a surgeon cuts the person open with a knife and then takes out the disease and kills it, is that violence or nonviolence? It's actually saving a life. But the difference is when the Supreme Lord, whatever he does is for everyone's ultimate benefit. Ravana was liberated from the cycle of birth and death. Ram killed his ignorance, his illusion, his ego. And in doing so, he protected all the innocent people within the world. And also facilitated the whole world to perfect their lives. So Ram Vijayotsava is the festival of Ram's victory. His victory of love over hate. His victory of compassion over envy. Of truth and light over illusion and darkness. Ram told Vibhishan to forgive his brother for everything. In fact, Ram said, because you are my intimate brother and he is your brother, he is my intimate brother too. Whatever reason for quarrel that we had is finished. So offer him your love. There's no impediment. So Vibhishan organized the last rites and offer the prayers to deliver his brother's soul. That is how Ram taught us forgiveness. That was Ram's forgiveness. He was seeing the disease, not the diseased. He loved the person but hated the disease. When the disease was removed, all there was is love for the person. Mandodari and the other wives were weeping and crying. But Mandori was so 
so honest and so knowledgeable. In many ways, her words to Ravana are her instructions to all humanity. We all have so much. We all have such opportunity. Why do we waste it all by corrupting ourselves, by giving in to these vices? Ravana was a Brahmin son. He was wealthy. He was powerful. He had a beautiful wife, chaste, faithful. He had everything and more than anyone could want. He was envious of God and he fell victim to his lust. And because of that, he lost everything. Similarly, we are all pure spirit souls. And we all have every possible opportunity to attain supreme perfection in our lives and be really happy. We have unlimited spiritual wealth within us. But the downfall is we give in to our mind and senses demands, lust, envy, anger, pride, greed, illusion. And how, how they could destroy our lives, how we could lose everything we have, how we could lose all these most precious opportunities and as devotees, we're given so much warning, just like Ravana. How important it is to take these warnings seriously. We see it all around us, even in this world. How giving in to these powers of Maya can just devastate a person's entire life. Materially, socially, spiritually. Mandodari is speaking to Ravana, but she's speaking to all of us too. Because we all have those Ravanas within us. The good, good dog and bad dog. Ram is speaking, Ravana is speaking. And we have the choice. And this day, Ram Vijayotsava, is the day where we meditate and commit ourselves to following Ram. By taking shelter of Ram, by liberating ourselves from this Ravana within. And if we can just follow Srila Prabhupada and our Acharya's guidance. It is guaranteed. In Treta Yuga, the Absolute Truth appeared as Ramchandra. In Dwapa Yuga, as Sri Nandanandana Krishna. Along Sita and Ra- Radha, Rani. Kali Kale Namarupe Krishna Avatar. In the age of Kali, the Lord appears in his name. if with the proper service attitude, if in the spirit that our acharyas have taught us we can simply chant the holy names of the Lord sincerely without ulterior motives and serve sincerely without ulterior motives. Hear these beautiful pastimes in that spirit. Then real real victory will be ours. In this spirit, we take shelter of Krishna's Thank you very much. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.